how to remove Alexa or other common spyware infections. Uh, once again, spyware is a very complicated issue because it's going to depend on how you got the, the infection, how, um, how badly infected it is, and what you've done since you've gotten it. Um, the first thing I would recommend is removing whatever antivirus or spyware detection programs you have and installing something that comes up more highly recommended. Uh, lots of times free programs, unless you uh, have gotten them from a reputable source, sometimes are not very effective in doing so, uh, removing problems. Uh, so what I'm going to walk you through here right now is a program that we've used a lot here, which is called SpyBot Search and Destroy. We're going to install the program, and I wanted to walk you through the installation process because there's a few things that you don't really need to check and are most likely going to cause confusion. So we're going to click Next, and we're going to click on Accept. It's fairly straightforward. You can put the file where you want it. All these options here are fine. You're going to click Next. The one thing I want you to uncheck is going to be Use System Settings Protection, T-Timer. What that does is it, it'll create a little pop-up every time you go to make any changes to your computer. And that can sometimes be confusing because you'll be purposely making a change and then having to verify that you want to do it. So what it's doing right now is it's going online and getting the most recent installation files for this program. Once that's done, we'll continue with the installation process. So now it's, what it's doing is it's going through and actually installing the program using the, the uh, latest installation files available. So once it's done, you want to run the program. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the uh, spyware and virus definitions are up to date. So it knows all the new viruses and spyware that's out there. It's going to warn you that if you remove advertisement robots with this program, that they're not liable for it. And uh, some programs need those things to work. So now that we've got the program installed, we're just going to click through all these options and click Next. And we're going to click Start Using the Program. Once you're in the program, there's an easy button right with easy access for you right up front that says Search for Updates. We're going to click that. And then we're going to just select anything that's uh, somewhat local to a server to connect to and get our updates from. So you'll see the American flag next to a few of them. Just select one with that or whatever destination you're closest to. And you want to select all of these updates. And you're going to click Download. It's a very quick download and install. Once it's done downloading them, it's going to go through and, and apply the changes. Once it's done, you click exit and the program will actually relaunch. Once the program is open and ready to be used, you're going to click Check for Problems. And it's going to give you these hints. You can choose to either leave them available to you, or you can click Hide it right now, or just hide all the time. I don't really need to see them, so I'm going to click Hide permanently. What you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner is the progress bar, and the bot checks it's running. What it's doing right now is it's searching for commonly known spyware infections, so that can help detect them and remove them. Once the scan's done, you'll see a list of any common, no, commonly known problems or infections found in this uh, white pane above. Once that's done, you can simply click Fix Problem Selected, and it will fix any of the problems that it finds. If it has a problem fixing anything, what it'll do is it'll offer to run at the ne next system startup, and then it will reboot your computer and run prior to Windows loading. This is good for removing any problematic uh, things that the program can't normally 
remove easily.